Right now, the Great League is active within the Pokemon Go PvP season, and there is a team that I've wanted to try out for quite some time, and it required me to catch a specific Pokemon. Well, now that I've caught that Pokemon and I got IVs that are very acceptable, I actually tried out this team consisting of Lantern, Metacham, and Noctal. And I have to tell you, it has given me some very positive results. I'm going to be talking about each individual Pokemon and how they work together in this video. Let's get right into it. Alright, how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Kanchinsula. I hope you're having a good day and welcome to today's Pokemon Go video. Today we're going to be doing a bit of PvP strategy because there is a particular team that I've been on my radar for quite some time and I've always wanted to try it out. It consists of Lantern, Metacham, and Noctowl and this team actually works really well in tandem together. There are a lot of things that makes this team really strong, but of course it does have a couple of weaknesses as well. But real quick, let's go over each Pokemon Pokemon in detail. Alright, let's first go over the lead Pokemon for this team, and it is going to be Lantern. This Pokemon is a water and electric type Pokemon. It's a pretty unique type combination, which gives it a lot of different advantages within the Go Battle League. Now in terms of the weaknesses, it's only going to be weak against grass types and ground types. And when it comes to resistances, it's going to have a double resistance to steel, and regular resistance to fire, flying, ice, and water type attacks. Now, even though it doesn't matter for PvP, Lantern is going to be weather boosted by rainy weather. Now, in terms of the base stats, it's going to have a base attack stat of 146, a base defense stat of 137, and a base stamina stat of 268. This Pokemon actually has a lot of stamina for a PvP Pokemon. This means it's going to be secretly tanky, and a lot of your opponents may not necessarily view it as such, so make sure you use that to your advantage. Now, for the rank 1 IVs, you will want one that is 0 attack, 13 defense, and 14 health. However, rank 1 IVs are not necessarily going to be a priority, considering it has a really high stamina stat. So, as long as you stay under that 1500 limit, you're going to be okay. Now, in terms of Lantern's available fast attacks, it can come with either Spark, Charge Beam, and Water Gun. Spark is going to be the clear winner out of these three, mainly because it generates an insane amount of energy and also deals a good amount of damage. Now in terms of the charge moves, it can come with either Surf, Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, and Thunder. Out of these four moves, you will want to go with Surf and Thunderbolt. Both of these moves are spammable, and they do deal a good amount of damage if you're able to get them off. They also both benefit from a same type attack bonus, so Lantern is definitely going to be useful, especially if you're going up against Pokemon that are going to be weak against either of these moves. Next up, let's talk about the Switch, which is going to be Noctowl. This Pokemon is a normal and flying type Pokemon. It has weaknesses to electric type, ice type, and rock type attacks. It's also going to be double resistant to ghost type and ground type attacks, and regular resistance to bug and grass type attacks. Now in terms of Noctowl's base stats, it's going to have a base attack stat of 145, a base defense stat of 156, and a base stamina stat of 225. The rank 1 IVs for Noctowl is going to be 1 attack, 14 defense, and 15 health. In terms of the fast attacks, Noctowl can come with either Wing Attack and Extra Sensory. Wing Attack is going to be the clear winner by far, considering that it benefits from a same time attack bonus, and it does generate a lot of energy. Now in terms of the charge attacks, it can come with Sky Attack, Shadow Ball, Psychic, and Nightshade. Sky Attack is going to be an absolute necessity when it comes to this Pokemon. It gains a same type attack bonus, and it is spammable considering its low energy cost. However, this move did get nerfed recently with this current season, so don't necessarily think of it as a reliable move. But alternatively, Shadow Ball is a very good move to have on Noctowl, considering that it does give it a lot of type coverage, and it also is a super hard hitting charge attack. And then finally, let's talk about the closer for this team. This Pokemon is of course going to be Metacham. Now, recently I made a video spotlighting this Pokemon, but just to recap, this Pokemon is a fighting and psychic type Pokemon. It's only going to have three weaknesses, which is going to be fairy, flying, and ghost types, and it's going to be resistant to fighting type and rock type attacks. The base stats are going to be 121 for its attack, 152 for its defense, and 155 for its stamina. The rank 1 IVs are going to be 5 attack, 15 defense, and 15 health. In terms of the fast attacks, it can come with counter and psycho cut, and charge attacks include psychic, ice punch, power up punch, and dynamic punch. 
All right, so how exactly does this team work? Well, first and foremost, you want to open up with Lantern, and you want to try to catch out a bunch of Pokemon that are going to be weak against either Electric types or Water types. This includes Pokemon like Stunfisk or any Flying type for that matter. Like, all of these Pokemon are going to struggle really hard against Lantern. But this team is backed up by both Noctowl and Metacham, which are actually really powerful Pokemon within the Go Battle League. Of course, after Sky Attack got nerfed, Noctowl has kind of fallen off quite a bit. But Metacham is still one of the strongest Pokemon, if not the strongest Pokemon in the current Go Battle League meta. And that Pokemon will actually carry you to a lot of wins. The key strategy of this team is to catch out some of the most common leads with Lantern, because a lot of players tend to run Pokemon like Stunfisk and their leads, and Lantern is a very hard counter to those Pokemon. You will want to watch out though, because it is going to be weak against ground types, so there's quite a bit of Pokemon out there that might give it a little bit of trouble. But of course, those Pokemon are all countered by both Metacham and Noctowl, so there's going to be a lot of switching involved with this team, and you just want to be ready for whatever they throw against you. The way this team works the best is if you are planning against your opponents and what they might switch into. Like for example, if you switch into Metacham, expect a flying type of some kind and, you know, try to catch them out with a couple of Ice Beams. There's really a lot of versatility with this team and I think that's what makes it really strong. And I really do think if you were to try out this team, you will be able to get a lot of success as long as you put a lot of practice into it. Right now with the current Go Battle League season, I've been trying to grind it out to Legend Rank as far as I can. I mean, I it's been something that has been a bit of a goal for myself, and I really do think I have a really good chance this season, because Metacham is actually one of my most used Pokemon when it comes to the Great League, and currently it is ranked number one. So I'm definitely going to be using it and gearing a lot of teams around it in order to get the higher ranks. And yeah, with this team in particular, I've been netting about a 70% win rate against a lot of common meta teams. So I'm really excited that this team is working out, and I really do think that it's going to contribute to a very successful season. But in any case, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to share this particular team and how well it has been performing. It is, of course, a very common meta team since last season, but of course, because of Sky Attack's nerf, not a lot of players are actually using it. But if you have tried this team in the current season, I would love to know what you think about it down below. Is there a particular strategy that you are using when it comes to this team, or what strategy are you using against it? Definitely share all of that down below, and let's have a great discussion. And as always, thank you so much for making it to this point in the video. If you ended up enjoying it and found it to be informative, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I want to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. For all of the members of my Patreon family, they get a permanent spot on my in-game friends list. So if you want to interact with me within Pokemon Go, like with remote raids or the friendship system, then the best way you can do so is by joining joining my Patreon. And if you want to support my channel non-monetarily, you could always do so by following me on social media. My handle is at Count Jinsula, and I'm on the following platforms. All right, and that's going to be it. I'm Count Jinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.